Hi there, welcome to On Track TV. My name is Jonathan and today we're going to be working in Adobe Photoshop. I want to tackle the goal of removing the background from an image so we can have transparency instead. We'll be saving it as a PNG file which supports transparency as well. Now, why would you want to use this? Let's say for instance you have your company logo that has a white background on it, but you want transparency there. Maybe you're putting it on top of another image that you want to come through or you're putting it on your company website and you want the same effect. We're going to deal with this in two ways. The first lesson today, I'm going to show you how we remove a simple background, like a solid white background you might find around your company logo. The next lesson we'll deal with more complicated images, so like photographs involving people or animals or figures, removing them, selecting them first, and then removing them from the image to allow transparency around them so they can free stand or free float in another particular image. Now you've probably tried tackling this yourself using the eraser tool. Not a bad way of doing it, not exactly the most user friendly because you can go outside the edges and lose a bit of your information. So with the tools, specifically the marquee tool, lasso tool and the magic wand tool, you'll have a much easier time of doing it. So enough talk from me, let's dive straight in. So this is the image that I wish to remove the background from today. As you can see, I have a solid white background and no transparency present within it. I can tell this because I don't see a checkered background. If I move my image slightly, I can see this checkered background above and to the left. This highlights transparency. Whenever you can see this, it means there's transparency in your image. So at the moment, I have none. The easiest way to select this entire background would be to use the magic wand tool. The magic wand tool can be found on the left hand side and if you left click and hold on this button, the quick selection tool, left click and hold will reveal the magic wand tool. The way the magic wand tool works is when you click you will sample a particular pixel and based on a tol tolerance value it will include or exclude adjacent pixels. For example, if I left click on this leaf here, it includes most of the green, but because I have a tolerance of 30, it doesn't increase or include all the greens. So in our case, it should work quite well for selecting white. So once I click once here, you'll notice now that this moving ant trail highlights our active selection, and it's grabbed most of the white for us. However, it has not grabbed the shadow underneath the piece of fruit. A nice quick way to add into a selection is using a quick mask and this is accessed by hitting the Q key on the keyboard. This is a toggle on and off so each time you hit Q you'll be moved from normal mode to quick mask mode. While in quick mask mode anything that is in red like the fruit we have here, anything that is highlighted red is not selected or is not in your current selection and anything that is in its normal color, in this case our white background, is selected, which is correct. While in quick mask mode, you can paint using your brush tool, found over on the left hand side in your toolbar, you can paint black or white onto this quick mask. Black deselects and white selects or adds to your selection. So I can use this to add in the shadows that I wish to remove since we are selecting the background and that's what I want to remove. Right clicking allows you to adjust the size of your brush for more detail oriented grabbing and adding to the selection. As I can see down here, I have missed part of the leaf, so I swap pack to black to exclude it from the selection. Okay, now out of the quick mask mode, that looks pretty good. Oops, it looks fairly good there. I'm happy with that. So now that we have the selection, it's a simple case of hitting the delete key. And voila, now our piece of fruit has transparency behind it. The last step to do is to go to the file drop down up at the top and choose save for web and choose PNG 24 with transparency checked. Down in the bottom left you can control your zoom for your preview 
as well as adjusting the final size that you want this image to be output as. So I can just click Save, give it a name, Mandarin is fine, hit Save, and I have my PNG transparent image ready to go. So in that lesson, we saw the magic wand tool and how you can use it to remove a nice, simple white background. Much, much easier than going in at it with the eraser and just rubbing everything out. Now, you also saw the quick mask tool, which is a nice, helpful um, way of touching up the selections that you've made, adding to it or taking away from it, like we did with the shadows. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how you can actually use the marquee tools and the lasso tools to make really, really accurate selections around more detailed figures and remove them from a particular image so you can add them to another. Nonetheless, thank you for your patience and thanks for watching.